the Kaduna State Christian Association of Nigeria in the state chapter has urged Nigerians not to elect leaders who will divide the country across religious sentiment and nepotism. Khan says it has not concluded on the candidates to support, but will not vote leaders that will disunite Nigerians. Plus, TV's correspondent Abila Darufa's report is presented from our studios. The 2023 general election is fast approaching, with the issue of flag bearers and their running mate religion taking center stage. Speaking at the special praise, Kaduna State's can chairman, who doubles as the Northern Vice Chairman, Reverend John Joseph Ayub, said Christians have already concluded not to vote for the Muslim Muslim ticket in 2023. He said the nation is faced with inhuman activities and challenges of insecurity orchestrated by nepotism, which has led to so many issues. Every day, this group of people will come and will say they are not doing right because we never allow the process to produce the right people. So Nigerians are saying we want, one, competent leaders, inclusive leaders, Leaders who understand the yearnings and aspirations of Nigerians and leaders who can deliver the good. And that's just what we are saying about it. So we will refuse any leader that is not competent, even if he comes from the family of Hayab. We will refuse every leader that if he wants to use competence and then he is not loving and caring to other Nigerians because Nigerians do not belong to Christians, nor does Nigerians belong to Muslims, nor Nigerians belong to Northerners, or Nigerians belong to South. Nigerians belongs to all Nigerians. And every Nigerian must be seen or must feel that this country respects him, this country appreciates him, this country recognizes his existence. Hayab stressed the need for the people to get their pieces and vote in the right candidates this time around. He, however, lamented money paid as ransom by families, which would have been used for development. The Khan chairman urged Christian faithful to unite to strategically fight the enemy of peace. For one fair ticket, we have said no. We have 17 options. They're going to look at theirs. None of them have even started campaign. No. I wonder why people are all confused. None of them have started campaign because according to INEC, campaign have not started. What we are doing now is to just sensitize our people. One, make sure that you really have the voters' card. Two, our conduct before, during, and after the election. So that's what we are going to do. And then ensure that we don't go the path of wasting vote. We're not going to waste our vote, brother. We are going to vote for two leaders in Kaduna State, two leaders in Nigeria. No wasting of vote. Those who are talking about waste of vote, probably I misquoted or they didn't say it the way people understand. But we're not going to waste our vote. We are going to choose leaders that will unite, build a formidable Nigeria so that our children will come up to be proud. In attendance were interdomination with over 50 pastors, church leaders and four delegates, each from churches across the central zone. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.